Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Donna Sanfilippo. You know I went to high school with Sanfilippos. Chris Sanfilippo. Do you know Chris Sanfilippo? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, oh, Ch Chels Elizabeth, that's a very nice thing to say. So good morning, everybody. I It is Tuesday. It is the morning after the Met Gala, and I have to tell you, I... Um, I, uh, you know, it's very easy for me to judge everybody's outfits from home on my couch. Um, the theme this year to the Met Gala was Sunday's Best or Heavenly Bodies, a tribute to uh, Catholicism, religion, in fashion. So obviously some of the looks were a little extreme, but I have to say I, uh, I salute people who stay on theme. There is nothing I like less than people who spend all that money and time going to the Met Gala and don't stick to the theme. What is the point in showing up in your 1988 prom dress? It makes no sense to me. The Met Gala is the one time that you can push fashion to the extreme, follow the theme, go as like crazy as you want to go. Rihanna killed it. Jennifer Lopez killed it. Madonna looked amazing. Like Blake Lively, I'm sorry, you're so beautiful. It was like looking into the sun. Um, even Kim Kardashian, who typically her fashion doesn't do anything for me. I think it's fine. I thought she looked stunning, stunning in that gold dress, classy, like amazing. I thought uh, overall the looks at the Met Gala last night were great. I had fashion blue balls because Beyonce didn't show up and I was waiting for Beyonce. I'm going to keep it real. I kept waiting and waiting and then I found out she was on vacation. So good for her, but sad for me. I turned that crap off. Um, anyway, I'm doing the news this morning on Good Day Alabama, uh, at 8 a.m. to talk about breaking in. I'm very excited. Um, Thank you to everybody yesterday who sent me pictures of their ticket orders. I love that you guys know what makes me happy and take the time out of your day to screenshot your ticket orders and direct message me. Thank you uh, for that. Thank you for doing that for me because you know it makes me happy and thank you for doing that. I appreciate you very much. So to everybody who sent me their ticket orders so I could see Thank you. To anyone who has still not gotten their tickets for um, for uh, breaking in this weekend, please do. Please buy two tickets and go to the movies this weekend. Um, it would mean so much to me. Gabs looked gorgeous in the yellow last night. Absolutely gorgeous. But again, didn't stick to the theme. I didn't get it. Um... Anyway, I, um, I, uh, was like talking to a girlfriend yesterday who, um, has been trying to, I'm sorry, my eyes, the, I don't know what the government is putting in the pollen this year, but it might be like, I don't know killing my eyeballs. Okay. So my girlfriend is, has ended a relationship with this guy. Finally, after three years of this nonsense. Anyway, she is trying to communicate with him, uh, in a way that is mature and just factual. I told her, you've got to like take emotion out and just communicate only Solely what needs to be communicated about at this point, like him getting his stuff the F out of your apartment, right? So she messages him and says, I need you to have all of your stuff out of my apartment by the end of this weekend. She's going home for Mother's Day. Uh, she will not be in New York. And um, 
and she says to him, I need you to, I need to ensure that you will have all of your stuff out of my apartment by Sunday afternoon, by the time I get back. And his response um, to her was, don't be so emotional. I'll get my stuff out of your apartment. So she, of course, reacts to that. Oh my God, I'm not being emo, And becomes increasingly emotional. And I said to her, take it down. Why do you let his words have so much control over your emotion? That is diminishing behavior. That is dismissive behavior. He is, there is a difference between emotional and communication. Unhealthy men do not recognize communication. They see any implication from a woman, any request from a woman, they label as emotional because they're not mature enough to handle it. That is a fact. When a man calls a woman emotional, he puts her on the defense. When a man calls a woman crazy, when a man calls a woman a bitch, there are certain things that we have stereotypically and historically been called for centuries. Emotional, irrational, um, crazy, okay? Men know when they call us these words, they are trigger words. Ladies, you have got to take the power back from these words. You have got to stop allowing men to control your emotions using words that have been used to hold us down and emotionally control us for so long. You want to call me crazy? I got you crazy. You want to call me emotional? Hormonal? What are you getting your period? I used to allow all of this stuff to trigger me. I used to let all, yes, you're too sensitive, blah, blah, blah. These are the things that men say to women to suppress us, to control us, to diminish us, to dismiss us. You're getting your period, you're too emotional, you're too hormonal, you're a bitch, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. Uh-uh, no. Ladies, you have to immediately stop allowing those words to have such a profound effect on you. Because the second you look at him and go, nope, just communicating, you take all the power back. The second you fly off the handle, the second you say, why are you telling me I'm a Nope, just communicating. And then they go like this. Oh. Yeah, so back to my communication. I just need you to get all of your shit out of my apartment by Sunday. See that? See the difference? And there is something so insanely satisfying by, about... Not allowing a man to diminish you or dismiss you with his trigger words. It is just, you know, Michael unintentionally throws the term drama queen around at my daughters. Anytime they're upset about anything, he says, oh, here comes the drama queen. Here comes the drama so I sat him down and I said, stop. And he said, I'm just joking. I said, it doesn't matter. It starts young. Anytime a girl has an emotion or a feeling, a man is right there to tell her she's a drama queen. She's extra because she feels some type of way. Find another word. Find another way to communicate with your daughters that you don't want them whining but don't call them names and don't diminish their emotion or their feelings. And he was like, okay, I don't like that. It starts young. We start doing it to little girls early. Take a pill. You're so emotional. You're such a drama queen. 
Uh, no. First of all, don't tell my kid to take a pill unless you want me to punch you in your face. How's, a dra how's that for a drama queen? I don't, maybe I'm oversensitive to it, but I've heard it my whole life. Anytime I had a feeling that so a man didn't agree with, I was emotional. I was dramatic. I was sensitive Sally. Take your sensitive Sally and shove it up your ass. How about that? Men can't even handle, who's the drama queen? They can't even handle communication without feeling attacked. You're attacking me, crazy lady. Bruh, ain't nobody attacking shit. I'm just talking to you. Did your mama never talk to you? You never been talked to before? A woman says anything and we're attacking them with our emotions. Stop attacking me with your emotional army. Bruh, if you don't sit all the way the fuck down, okay? I have zero patience for that shit. So, I say this to you to say, take the power back. Stay calm in your, in what you need to communicate. And when they diminish your emotions or dismiss your feelings or label you as crazy or emotional or sensitive, say, I'm none of those things. I'm just communicating. That's it. They don't like when you communicate. It's too much for them. Snowflakes. So, uh, this is what I told her last night, and I hope that she walks in that space. I hope that she really owns the fact that she is entitled to communicate without being diminished or dismissed, and so are you. You should be able to communicate any feelings or discomfort you have to any man who says they care about you on any level, friendship or otherwise, without being dismissed or diminished or being labeled as, as emotional or sensitive or crazy. And if the men in your life, friendship, lover or otherwise, can't handle communication without feeling attacked by your emotions, why don't you tell that man to buck the fuck up. Okay. I love you guys so much today. I love you. Um, I love you. Elder John, thank you for saying that. You win the internet today. I love you guys so much. There's a share video, a share button right there. Please share this video. There's somebody who needs to hear it. Um, I appreciate you guys sharing the video. Thank you so much. I love you so much today. Have a great, great day.